Great to have you in on this Friday. I wish the weather was better. Oh my goodness. It is so yicky out there today. It is. It's like you don't, it just wanted to go back to bed and mm -hmm. it's hard to think this is the unofficial start to summer. Yeah. Not hardly feeling feel, it. No, it. Hardly feels like it. No. That is where we begin tonight from downtown Cleveland all the way to Port Clinton. Heavy rain and wind pummeling the region. We have team coverage tonight as Matt Standridge is tracking your Memorial Day weekend forecast and this wicked storm. But we begin at five in Port Clinton. That's where the mayor there has declared a state of emergency because of the flooding off of Lake Erie. Will Uick is there live for us. Will, what are you seeing? Yeah, Sarah, Jay mentioned it. It was the wind, and that's what's really done a number out here in Port Clinton. They got some rain, but as you can see, it's let up. But the high lake levels really forced a lot of water over onto the streets. And you take a look at what we're still seeing. And this has actually gone down a bit since we've been here. This is a road that leads into a park. And right now, it's just pretty much a little pond. Over to the right side, they actually just began the walleye festival yesterday. It currently is under about four and a half feet of water. So, Obviously, they had to close up shop there. The wind also bringing in a lot of debris. We've actually seen snow plows come out in the middle of May up here at Port Clinton to push all this debris out. And when I'm saying debris, I'm talking about trees, branches. There's been power lines down. How about this? Fish washing up onto the sidewalk. They've had about 25 people they've had to pull out of cars. Right now, the fire chief says there's one big piece of advice for people up here stay home there's no reason to come out you know just stay home and if you have to go out stay away from the water now, meanwhile, about 23 miles east of here, Cedar Point, they had to close several rides early in the day before closing the park altogether around 2 p.m. The put in Bay Ferry rides, boat trips were all canceled. Kelly's Island Ferry closed for tomorrow as well, while the Jet Express and Miller Ferry say that they'll reevaluate tomorrow morning before making a determination. But as you can see, guys, it's uh, a lot of water, a lot of debris. There's going to be a lot of cleanup up here for several days to come, even when this water level does subside. Buick live from Port Clinton tonight. Will, thank you very much. Excellent job. Yeah. Well, and here's some video from downtown Cleveland today. Wet and windy conditions and more than 35,000 homes are without power. The majority of them in Cuyahoga County, nearly 21,000 outages at this time. So let's turn things over to Matt Standridge for the latest track of this rain and what we can expect for Memorial Day weekend. Matt. Hey, guys, it's a mess out there, but the good news really quick first. As we go day by day into Memorial Day weekend, the weather will get a little bit better, but man, it's windy right now, and we had some heavy rain a little bit earlier today. The heaviest bands are pushing out. Now we're dealing with the wind, but if you do look west, there are a couple remnant showers, so the rain is not completely done. We'll have some on and off showers the rest of the evening, but that big story is the wind. Heavy rain pushing out of Carroll County, Tuscarawas County, also towards the east, towards Pennsylvania. So now we go into a pattern just really windy. We still have wind advisories along the way, lake and then gale warnings across Lake Erie. On top of that, like Sarah just mentioned, we have some power outages. Now I've highlighted the counties that have more than 500 power outages. Of course, you've got Lorain County, Cuyahoga County, Lake County and Portage County, Cuyahoga County, over 21,000 specifically in and around Cleveland. The wind is going to be here for the rest of the evening overnight, even into tomorrow. By eventually tomorrow evening, we should start to see that wind die down. But man, it's chilly out there. We'll also let you know how much more rain we can expect this weekend and what's Memorial Day looking like specifically. All that's coming up. All right, Matt, thank you very much.